David Costa is on XKS. He is uh, Dean at Robert Kennedy College uh, and joins us now. David, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. So, uh, as we draw 2008 to a close, we start looking to 2009. I noticed from your notes you're concerned about inflation implications still. Uh, not too many people seem to be sharing that fear at the moment. They are more worried about a greater depression stroke recession. Hello, a very good morning to you, Steve. Yes, I'm worried about inflation because when you have a situation that, uh, like the Federal Reserve, which is bailing out everyone, and now they also talks to bail out uh, auto industry, we just have seen City and, and so on, when we have so, many, so much money printing around, uh, down the road, it will take a bit of time. I'm worried about inflation. And uh, when you're worried about inflation, one of the ways you could probably hedge against it uh, is to look at commodities uh, as sort of diversification in your portfolio, even if commodities this year I didn't really react as I normally do, but uh, I, I'm do worry about inflation, especially down the road toward the end of next year and when, when everything has been doing, depending also on the side of the Obama uh, stimulus package and all those things, but I do have a worry about inflation. Yeah, let's talk about that Obama stimulus package, because what can he do? So much money, as you just said, has been printed already. Is he going to have the financial leeway to do what he really wants to do to bring about this huge change that he's been talking about? Well, as you have noticed in the last speech, Obama intentionally didn't reveal any figure. He just said uh, there's going to be something, there's going to be a stimulus, but he didn't want to you know, just put a figure on it because there have been really a lot of intervention for the government, and government intervention goes a bit of two ways. I mean, in the short term, you can create some sort of, uh, of rally, some sort of comfort for the stock exchange, but uh, on the long run, it's not going to work always. So, uh, depending, depends really on the side. I don't think there's going to be huge stimulus, but, uh, you know, these are the years of surprises, and I wouldn't be, uh, you know, totally surprised to see something in the same line in the beginning of 2009. Also, because when you start a presidency, you need to give a signal that uh, you have the things on control. So it's quite possible that we will be surprised by the stimulus, and we will have a, quite a strong rebound on the equities, if that is the case. Yeah, and David, it's more here in Asia. We had a very good run this week, at least, for the equity markets. Uh, do you think that then we are setting ourselves up for perhaps an even better time in December or even 2009 for the equity markets as people wonder what to do with their cash that's not really earning very much right now? Yes, you, you're totally right. I do think that there is a sort of rebound going on. Uh, if you look at the cash, for instance, in Swiss francs, you're earning basically nothing. So I've seen a lot of uh, portfolio managers now moving slowly from the cash into equities, and I would recommend that because you reach a point of overselling, like what happened here in Switzerland, with a lot of opportunities, and I do see even opportunities in the financial, especially small financial in Switzerland, small regional banks, they already started a very strong rebound double digit on the last 10 days. Now, it's hard to say if this would be sustainable, but I do see screaming opportunities in the Swiss market. David, thank you so much for joining us today. David Costa, Dean at Robert Kennedy College, joining us today.